I'm going camping this weekend, but not at Buffalo Shores. Okay. <laughs> Just make sure you bundle up. Exactly. It's going to be cool. Well, check this out. Flooding yeah. is such a part of life here in the QCA. And while we thankfully didn't have any bad flooding this year, that wasn't the case for today's Flashback Friday. That's right. Today, we actually go back about 16 years. We go back to 2008. That's when our neighbors along the Rock River were battling not just one flooding event, but two rounds of floods that took place. And I think you might remember the familiar face of this story's reporter. It's all part of Flashback Friday, only here on The Current on News 8. Kia, one week after massive flooding here along North Shore Drive, neighbors continue to clean up from that flooding. In the meantime, though, they're also watching and listening to warnings from upriver of even more flooding that could be headed this way. It came up some more and then the water got to about right here. Joe Sinatra had been up to his ankles in water and one week later, he and his family are up to their eyeballs in cleanup. It all came so fast because it was a nice jam and there was no time for, to prepare for anything. Everybody's had that trouble. As you drive down the road, you see piles and piles of people taking out furniture and carpet and stuff and throwing it away. Now, as most of the water from last week had just drained away, rising waters are forcing these neighbors to watch the river again with seemingly no relief in sight. They're saying this next one's going to rise up to about 13-something, close to 14, which uh, won't be too bad for everybody in this area. Uh, it'll only come up in my yard just a, just a little ways. If it's a lot of ice, and it's big ice, thick ice, then it jams again, then we're in trouble again. Have you thought about moving or not? I'm, I'm thinking about it. And as neighbors tonight and over the next several days continue to watch the Rock River to watch for the potential of more flooding, they say regardless of what happens here along North Shore Drive, it won't be finished with the cleanup from the first round of flooding for several weeks at least. In Moline, Jason Fechner, WQAD News Channel 8. He looks so young. A young little tyke. <laughs> and now he's a main anchor in Milwaukee. How exactly. About, yeah, good for him. And a great story. And, a, and does, yeah, I do remember that indeed. You know what? I think he's actually in town this weekend hanging oh. out with some of our old Channel 8 friends. I hopefully got a chance to see that. Oh, my gosh. You, you yeah, know, Jason, if you're watching. Yeah, you know, his facial reaction <laughs> to be like. <laughs> we predicted it.